the same topic. So, ladies and gentlemen, to start up this edition, let's watch this report done by African News. We'll be right back after that. Gabon's deposed president, Ali Bongo Adimba, has called on his friends all over the world to make noise while under house arrest following a coup in the Central African country. I'm Ali Bongo Ondimba, president of Gabon, and I'm to send a message to all the friends that we have all over the world to tell them to make noise, to make noise, for the people here have arrested me and my family. My son is somewhere, my wife is in another place, and I'm at the residence. Right now, I'm at the residence, and nothing happening, nothing is happening. I don't know what, what's going on. So I'm calling you to make noise, to make noise. Military officers announced Wednesday morning that they were overturning the government in an apparent coup. Thank you very much for that video. So, uh, Madam Bale, just talk about this. I want to really focus on the part that he spoke in English. We know that Gabon is a French country, French-speaking country. They have their traditional, their languages there, but like officially, it's their main language is French. And we know that the Gabonese are French-speaking people. And most of the countries that we see Gabon rubbing shoulders with are French countries, despite the fact that the president also just joined the Commonwealth. But this time around, he was talking in English. And we have different analysis to that English. You know, people don't just look at the fact that he was calling for help in English. They, they have other views, like uh, uh, image semiology. They are trying to uh, get into the real reason why he's speaking in English. Is it that France is not supporting him? Is it that he's calling uh, for the English country since he joined Commonwealth? Or what is the reason? Why? Because Gabonese don't speak English, majority of them. And so if he wants his people to go out to the streets and make some noise to help him, it should be in, in, in French that he should speak. But when he's talking in English, we know majority of them will not understand. Then who is he calling on there? Um, well, Madam, for me, um, my first appreciation to this outing was, you know, it's a political strategy. When I talk of political strategy, I mean, um, you know, the Umabongo family is a political family. They have been reigning over Gabon for so long. We talk about like um, 54 years. Mm -hmm. So um, I think it's a political strategy. And looking at um, the historical um, life of this president, he is a rapper. He was a rapper, and he left music to join politics. So mm -hmm. um, I can also take from that angle. But the most important angle was, you know, um, looking at him speaking in English really means that French has vomited him. You know, um, the French who have been like, you know, the greatest trouble of Africa, especially um, the sub-Saharan Africa. And uh, we all know that when France understands that your eyes are beginning to you, you begin to see clearly. You begin to, you know, trying to, you know, um, you know, don't work for their interests anymore. They will, you know, vomit you. So I think that he knows that France has vomited him, so he has link with the ECOWAS he, which he has joined. Mm -hmm. And when we look at this, you understand that the English-speaking countries are more prosperous. When you look at, you know, Africa with the 54 states, when you go to the countries that were colonized by the British and others like the Germans, they are more developed. They are more, um, you know, into that democracy. So I think that another analyst to his outing was, he believes that the English-speaking countries are more you know, transparent. They are more um, open, and I think that that's why he was calling, you know, make some noise and all that. And a lot of people laughed. Some people used that mockery. But I think that it is a political strategy. He's calling upon the other countries, like the English-speaking countries, to come to his aid since he recently